Hey everyone, my name is Michelle and today I'm going to be talking about my gnome experience and the artwork that I chose to do this presentation on. Okay, so the artwork I chose was this and it's called Figure of a Leopard and it's by the Edo peoples. And so before we get started, I really want to do a background about the Edo culture and the Edo peoples and their daily life and stuff. So the Edo peoples had a very highly stratified society and it was all led by an Oba, otherwise known as a king. And according to early European accounts, the Oba had a palace just like every single king. And in the palace, there was a courtyard. And in the courtyard, there were, um, it was made up of lots and lots of columns. And on the columns, plaques just like this, hundreds and hundreds of plaques. Um, they were actually nailed onto the, um, the columns themselves. And all of these plaques, they depict daily life of the Edo peoples. They depict their beliefs, their culture their um, religion, all that. So now we're going to move on to F2C2 on my artwork that I chose, the figure of a leopard. Okay, so obviously, as you can see from first glance, this is a rectangular horizontal flat metal sheet containing a figure of a leopard, obviously, in raised relief, and it's facing right in profile. So it's made out of cast brass, and there's obviously signs of some iconography, and the leopard is obviously a leopard not only from prominent facial features, but also these depictions of spots along the leopard itself. And also, there are depictions of little small flowers in the background. And this is very interesting and very important because the flowers kind of give the viewer a very calming sense and very, very soothing kind of emotion, while the leopard itself gives a very fearful kind of feeling emotion. And it these two kind of contrast a lot and so this emphasizes the feelings that kind of um, that we can see that the Edo people had from this leopard instead of fearing it like nor uh, like normal people would they obviously felt calm about it and they actually may have looked up to it and as a matter of fact they did look up to it and they did think that um, the leopard was an important figure and really for the Oba it was most important because the leopard is kind of the king of the tropical rainforest at that time. And it was um, a tropical rainforest that actually surrounded Benin it, at that time until recently. And so the leopard in um, for the Edo peoples was actually a very um, kind of looked up as to a, like a king or a very high figure, uh, a very high figure, excuse me, of the jungle that it lived in. And so, just like King of the Jungle, the Oba thought of himself as king of his society or the king of his people. And so, a lot of times, leopards were depicted in order to show that greatness that the Oba may have had over his society or his people. And so, this importance is obviously seen in the raised relief and kind of the hierarchy of scale type fashion also. And so now we're going to move on to function. The function of this artwork is religious as well as political and personal. It's religious because um, another thing in the Edo society is they also used to uh, sacrifice leopards. And they also used to use them um, in ceremonies. And it's also political because, the, like I said earlier, the Oba would use himself as... Um, he would actually use the leopard, I'm sorry. He would use the leopard as kind of a political... Um, political mascot almost and um, so the leopard was used to uh, show his strength and his uh, power in his uh, position that he was in as Oba and it also is a very personal function as well because it was hung in his palace it was hung in the Oba's palace and so it may have had a more personal kind of connection to it than it would let's say another person and so now we're going to move on and compare the figure of a leopard with another artwork from the image set and so I chose wall plaque from Oba's palace and so you can obviously see just from looking at it kind of has some similarities but also some kind of uh, some differences and so we're gonna analyze tradition and as well as change in both of these so traditionally these are both obviously from the Edo people the Edo culture Benin and they are both made of cast brass and um, as you can see in both of these, the subject in the middle is always in high relief. And so 
in this one, obviously the Oba that is depicted here is in high relief, com and he has uh, a sort of hierarchy of scale compared to his other, uh, the other people depicted in this. And also, so does the leopard. It is in raised relief, which shows its importance, and it's, um, and so it stands out from the rest of the plaque. And so this actually shows that even though time has passed, the Edo peoples kind of had a specific way that they um, emphasized the importance of uh, figures, individuals, animals. And so um, really this is used in like hierarchy of scale. So kind of in a traditional way, it was very traditional to um, use hierarchy of scale if you wanted to um, emphasize importance or greatness of something or someone. Um, more tradition, um, as you can see, even though both artworks are kind of different, they really do both stress the main ideas that um, they really emphasize the greatness of the Oba and his will and his power. Um, the leopard comparing the leopard to a uh, to the Oba, and then this is obviously just depicting the Oba himself and his greatness based on the hierarchy of scale and also the um, what is going on in this uh, in this plaque and so um, now if we like look at change then um, as you can see like I said before there are flower depictions in um, but there are also flower depictions on this one as well the wall plaque from the image set so these actually both even though they both have flower depictions these flowers mean different things so for this one for the um, figure of a leopard the flowers according to Khan Academy are just to emphasize the um, environment and the jungle that um, just regular um, the the habitat of the um, of the leopard itself and so it kind of just stands for a more natural kind of point of view but on the other hand as you can see in the wall plaque from Obus Palace, the um, the flower depictions have four petals on them, and so these four petals actually represent the um, the cosmological worlds of the Edo peoples. And whenever I mean by this, I mean since there are four petals, it also represents four directions of the wind, the four days of the Edo week, and it also represents the four divisions of the Edo day. And so this is a change that happens over time with these two artworks. Alright guys, and that is my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something very, very valuable. Thanks for watching.